Hey collectors, Anthony from Ashes Net here, and today we're taking a look at a Transformers Legacy United Thundertron. Uh, he's from the Prime Universe, and uh, he looks pretty neat. But he came with, of course, uh, what you see in front of you, uh, an instruction manual, and the Don't Hurt Yourself paper, so remember, don't hurt yourself. And uh, he does come with a sword, which goes into his hand like this, and uh, pretty nifty. Not too fancy, but before we look at him in any depth, let's take a look at the box. Here is him in his uh, tiger wolf mode. I'm not quite sure what he is. I, I want to say wolf. It looks kind of like a wolf. Um, but then uh, here is uh, his alt or his bot mode on the side here. Conversion in the back, and then the typical Legacy United panel piece. So, uh, looking at the figure himself, uh, he does have an additional peg leg uh, because he is a pirate. That's his thing. But if you don't want to have him have a peg leg, he doesn't have to have a peg leg. So getting a close-up look at him. Uh, look, it, I mean, he looks like a pirate. He's really missing his eye patch. And of course, uh, earlier this year, Walmart had a, you know, you can get his crew and stuff. As an exclusive. And then I guess they're offering, I'm not quite sure how they would do a leader class version of him. But I guess that is something that's happening later on. Uh, he's conversion not too bad um it's just his legs that maneuvering them into the position because you got to fold them a few more times than you would think possible but uh it gets there so i'm gonna i'm not following the instructions per se because they were confusing uh so i'm just gonna detach things um that i want to <laughs> detach for the sake of convenience for myself um so pull out the feet from under the the shoulder pads uh pull this up and uh, do this and his head actually, unlike most other conversions, head usually goes somewhere. In this case, it just sits there. It's 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 that's it. Uh, so his arms, um, they they come in. Uh, I'm gonna like make sure they're upside down so they can fit over here. Uh, but then uh, they're going to plug in under here. And before you even get that far, like once you get it up to this point, you're supposed to turn the arms at the elbow. There we go. And then plug them into each other. And um, and then you can, once you see how this all fits together, um, the arms kind of rest in here. And then they fold one more time. Let's see if I can get it to... Because they end up like um, this point here goes into this point here. And that's how you know you have it aligned correctly. So you have to keep uh, folding the arms up until... Do I have it? No. How about now? I think I'm there. Because uh, if you have it right and the hands are in the right position... Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, because the wrists don't move independently. Got to make sure the arms are exactly right. But if they are, and then this piece will close over the top, and little pegs will fit in the fists. There we go. So that, keep, that keeps it there. And then you got a kitty mouth. Or a doggy mouth? I don't know. I, again, not sure what he is. I don't know anything about this character, but I thought the the stuff from um, the Walmart order was cool, so I went and just got him since, uh, you know, the crew needs a captain. So, um, did that. Uh, there is this piece here you lift up, and there is this peg right here that goes into this neck piece. Um, let's see if I can straighten it out. There you go. Uh, it goes into the neck piece. Oops. Where to go? Eh. Okay, right here, and to make sure it goes into that piece there, and then the rest of the head just kind of fits into place. There we go. Okay. Um, then you can kind of just move this stuff out of the way for a sec. Uh, there is uh, little connections that go in here, as you see here that go into the. And in, if uh, it makes you feel any better and, and makes it a little bit more stable while you're working on it, I, I connect them. Uh, the tail, you can move out of your way while you're working on this. Um, so the front legs, uh, they peg in to the arms uh, because uh, you need to secure them. And uh, this connection to the arms right now, to the head, is actually pretty decent. Uh, but the peg, at least on my copy, are so super tight and uh, as you see it, it, it doesn't want to stay in 
Hold on. Let's see if I can. Cause I'm worried about like doing it too much and then breaking something. But once you got it in, you can close it off. And it looks pretty good so far. So the legs. So it folds up on itself. His legs like have an extra joint in it. And um, I'm going to move these out of the way. And, um, oh yeah, peg leg. I forgot about that. If you get it to fold enough, you can get the leg to kind of do what you want it to do for basically a, a dog or a cat, whatever animal this is. Also, there is these extra toes here. Just flip them back. Replicate what I just did in the one. And try to put him into position here. And um, it's not too difficult. It's just... Oh, and he popped out of his peg again. Here we go. I'm going to move these down a little bit. And I'm going to take these. And they kind of just... They're friction jointed. They just stay there. Tail out. Sword... Mounts on here. You can actually do it the other way if you want it to be a little bit more menacing. But uh, yeah, it uh, cleans up pretty well. The mouth does move independently of the little chest plate. Um, it's just it's on the same joint, so it, it you know kind of goes with it. But uh, here's yeah. waffling isn't evident until you look at the back end on this guy. Uh, but I mean, otherwise it's a pretty decent mass. For a Voyager. And uh, I, I, I like it when they do the, the kitties and the doggies. So yeah, he's okay with me. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it? And how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe.